Finn, why did Yuri want to walk home with you? Huh? Why did she look angry all of a sudden? But, oh wait. Don't tell me she's jelly right now. <laughs> Welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies, and last time, Sayori offered her two warm cinnamon buns. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, me and Yuri had walk had a walk home together, and Sayori preferred to be alone for some odd reason. Not sure if it's her depression pushing us away or her studies and such, but we'll see about that in this episode. So, you guys know the drill, and what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. After an hour or so later, Sayori texted me to let me know she was on her way. Man, her teacher really kept her for a while. Now we've settled down into the living room, pens and paper at the ready. Wah, I can't decide what this poem should be about. Sorry. I'm actually, I'm not actually that bothered about writing a poem. To be honest, I only suggested this so we could spend more time together. Aww, MC. You. You smooth son of a gun. Uh, really? I maneuver myself, so I'm sitting directly behind her, wrapping my arms around her back. She giggles and leans forward. Back. Be, leans backwards. Sorry. Uh huh. But Finn. I know, I know. With a sigh, I detach myself and pull up the notepad in front of me, pen in hand. After a while, we're both finished with our poems. Sayori wasn't kidding when she said she does better in creative subjects. Watching her brainstorm and write her, and write her poem has proven to be a real eye-opener. Although not quite to be the same extent as Yuri, Sayori really gets lost in her own little world. As she wrote, I was struck by how much attention goes into her work. For instance, she deliberately avoids cliches and has an interestingly var varied uh, rhyme scheme. Her language is emotive and effective, enabling the reader to vividly picture what she's talking about. It's easy to immerse herself into the world she creates, and the best part was seeing the look on her face as she wrote. My poem obviously can hold a, ha a candle to hers. But it was at least much more enjoyable to write my poem with her next to me. Sayori? Hmm? Well, what did your homeroom teacher want to talk to you about? Oh, that. Well, I haven't been handing homework in on time. I've just been... Well, it's impossible to find the motivation to work on it sometimes. That's definitely me when I do my online assignments as well, sometimes, but <laughs> I waste no time and I'll just get them done on time. Haven't you thought about telling him about, well, your depression? I'm sure they'd be a bit more lenient if they knew what was going on. From their perspective, they probably just think you're being lazy. Eh, sometimes. That would be a lot, a lot of hassle. As she talks, I reach over to my bag and pull out the book Yuri lent me. Ooh, what's that? It looks scary. <laughs> uh, have you seen or read I IT or IT, Sayori? Pretty much, because of course, uh, well, not pretty much. I I'm, in other words, I'm not sure if he's seen Pennywise, but <laughs> he is definitely scary, but uh, yeah. I don't know for me though, <laughs> he's still scary nonetheless. Oh yeah, it's a book Yuri lent me while we were walking home. She just got into this book herself and happened to have a spare copy. Just as I told her, I always wanted to read this book as well. What a coincidence, eh? Uh, Sayori, so you okay there? What's up with that face? There's a silence for a few seconds. Did I say something wrong? Sayori? So oh. Sorry, I was just, um, looking at the front cover. Pretty creepy, huh? Yeah, Pennywise is definitely spoopy. Another awkward silence. Finn, why did Yuri want to walk home with you? Huh? Why did she look angry all of a sudden? But, oh wait. 
Don't tell me she's jelly right now. Oh, that. Uh... I'm not sure if I should tell Sayori about Yuri feeling really lonely. As good as the relationship is, Yuri's confession was rather personal. I can tell you. Why not? Well, it's personal. Okay. Yuri is just, well, going through some difficult times at the moment. And we're friends, so I guess that's why she wanted to talk to me. And you like spending time with her, don't you? I mean, yeah, isn't that normal between friends? Exactly! We're just friends, nothing else, and... Plus, I don't love Yuri, I love you, Sayori, come on! And also, admit it, don't be in denial, I I'm pretty sure you're just jealous. Yeah, of course it is. I'm glad you two get along so well. You, all, you two also went Christmas shopping together, right? Yup, she's actually really good with suggestions. But she takes ages in the stationery shop. You'd think I'd be used to that, given how long you spend at any shops that have candy. <laughs> I playfully nod her, but she barely responds. Uh, Sayori. Just don't be in denial. Just, just tell me that you're, you're, je you're jelly. It's, there's no harm in that, right? You okay? You seem a little tense. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. I was just thinking about all of the homework I need to catch up on. Yep. Definitely jelly. I should probably get going, actually. Ah, really? She stands up and heads to the door. He could always ask Yuri to come over. She's better company than I am anyway. Huh? She closes the door and I'm left there, wondering what that was all about. Did I say something to upset her, or perhaps she had a fight with Yuri? I mean, that explained why she seemed angry at the mention of Yuri's name. Uh... Eh, I'm too tired to think this one over. I'll ask her about it tomorrow. Uh... Well, it's simple. It's just, it's just jealousy. I, I am, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely just that jealousy. Feeling refreshed after a decent night's sleep, I'm patiently waiting for Siori. The winter chill really has no mercy, especially this early in the morning. Thankfully, Sayori isn't particularly wait. And before we know it, we're on our way to school. Hey, Finn. He, yes, uh, Lady Sayori. How can I be of service on this fine winter morning? What am I now? Why am I all polite and gentle for in this time? Well, um, as a knight myself, I should know my manners, that I should be polite and uh, more gentlemanly as possible, because well, <laughs> um, I guess you could call it as like some sort of a um, a knight's code or something like that. Well, as a grand master of this channel and all, I guess that kinda is. I think so. <laughs> Maybe I might write some uh, some knight's code about that one. Like, be manner. <laughs> well, um, mind your manners. Be royal and gentle, manly as. You could be. I don't know. I, I'm kind of working on that one, I guess. I was curious. Um... What is it? Who's your favorite club member? Not including you. Hmm... Eh, it's Ayori. Nothing else. No questions asked. I don't really have any, to be honest. None of them are as awesome as you. Come on, you've got to like one of them more than the others. I narrow my eyebrows. Where's this question coming from? Oh, come on, I'm not entirely sure if you're still jealous at me or... Or jealous at Yuri, rather, but... Oh man, come on! Why the sudden interest? I... I just wanted to know how well you're getting along with the others. Hmm... Definitely not Natsuki for obvious reasons. Well, besides that she's my second favorite and all. 
I never got the feeling that she likes me. Plus, it's always really awkward when it's just the two of us. I spoke to her alone once last semester and it was a painful experience. What about Monica? Compared to Natsuki, we definitely get along a lot better. She looked super appreciative when I told her how much I liked the club just before we performed. And to be honest, she's always been a little intimidating. I nervously scratched the back of my head. You know, being the perfect student and all, maybe I'm just imagining it, but sometimes I get the impression that she might look down on me. Don't get me wrong, I definitely appreciate all of her hard work for the club and all. Much like Natsuki, we never really spend time together, so I wouldn't really say she's my favorite either. So, well, what about Yuri? Unless I'm mistaken, Sayori is trying really hard to appear nonchalant. It isn't working particularly well. Well, yeah, I'd probably say her? I mean, I've got to know her a little better over the last semester, or semester, and she went from someone who barely maintained eye contact with me, to someone who agreed to go shopping with me when it's just us. I, I've enjoyed seeing her come out of her shell to allow me to see the real her, I guess. Yeah, uh, okay. That's what I thought. Sayori, is everything okay? I noticed you left kinda abruptly last night after we talked about uh, after we talked about Yuri. Did you guys have an argument or something? I really cannot like, I really can't imagine those two having a fallout of all people. It's extremely rare to, for Sayori to get angry, along with the fact that their personalities don't clash at all. So, what could it be? Easy, jealousy. Oh, of course not, silly. I was just a bit surprised at how friendly she's been with you recently, that's all. Given how shy she is, I'm just curious to, um, I'm just a bit surprised that that's all. Right. School is looming in sight, so unfortunately our conversation will have to end there. So, as you can tell, the 1930s were very important for European history. Countries all across the continent were experiencing significant changes, both politically and socially. Now, I made it my New Year's resolution to end my lessons before the bell rings, so we'll call it there. Oh, but by the way, could I have a word, Finn? I swear to Glob, those must be the words you could ever hear. Same, same. Unless if it's on, unless if it's something important, then that's fine by me. Well, along with I'm pregnant, we have to talk. <laughs> or it's not you, it's me. What? <laughs> okay. Hopefully, things I won't hear from Sayor. Really? Out of all the things... <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't imagine. Oh no, 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 we are not gonna talk about that. No. Especially that second one. <laughs> I approached the front desk, awkwardly hovering by the side. I need to give you the results of your exams, so here they are. Okay, Ad, I need you to give you I need to give you the results of your exams to that list. He pulls out a piece of paper and lowers his voice as some students are eating nearby. You don't have to look like you've seen a ghost. My mind wanders back to last October. Funny you should mention ghosts. Oh yeah, the um the Halloween thing. For the most part you've done well. Your grades in history, Japanese, and English were are especially were satisfactory. Looks like being in that literature club has really helped, huh? How did you know about that? Finn, please, I'm a wise old owl. Aren't you one of the youngest teachers in the school? He sighs dramatically. You can never let me have it. <laughs> you can never let me have my fun, can you? Although your grades in other subjects could be a, li a little better, namely math and physics. Eh, mathematical aid, I ain't good with that. It's not a cause for concern, but I know you can do better. Yeah, 
Uh, about that. Truth to be told, the last semester was kinda hectic. Uh, relationship stuff. Oh, Sayori? Wait, does he know? Does he know? Didn't you know? His eye twinkles with a knowing smile. Anyway, you're a bright student. Well, when you want to be, so breathe a sigh of relief. I recommend paying attention to the technical stuff from math and physics especially. And don't be afraid to ask for help when it's needed. Not everyone can excel at everything, but I have faith in your ability to bring your grades up. Th thanks, sir. The past few months weren't easy. Relationships are... tricky. So I'm glad I was able to, co to keep up academically, at least. He pauses to study me, offering a shrewd smile. Of course. Just be careful not to make Sayori jealous. From what I've seen, the literature club is full of girls. He chuckles to himself. Now, I've got to go to a meeting that I have to pretend to be interested in. There really is no rest for the wicked. With a nod, he turns to leave. As I turn to follow him, my brain keeps replaying his words over to me. Just be careful not to make Sayori jealous. Well, I freaking knew it! Hmm. Fumbling for my phone, I notice it's a text from Monica sent to all of the club members in a group chat. Hey guys, uh, just been told that the club room is being used after school today. It's a supervision session for people to talk to their teachers about their exam grades. Plus, super important has popped up which means I can't make it. I'll do my best to rearrange it. Sorry, guys. I, me I mechanically shoot her a reply while on autopilot. My brain is whirring at a million miles an hour as I realize something I should have seen coming. Before I can say anything, Sayori starts a conversation. Well. I don't know if we could, you know, rearrange the club meeting to a park or a cafe or something. I don't know, or maybe at my house or at Sayori's house. Who knows? So, my teacher gave me my exam results back. Oh? Yeah, I really can't complain, I guess. I did much better than I thought I would for biology. But physics was a bit of a nightmare. Couldn't agree less, Sayori. I really, really hate math and physics with a burning passion. Math wasn't great either. Well, what can I say? Mathematical aid. But on the whole, I think I've done okay. Sayori, are you jealous of Yuri? The abruptness of my question, along with the clash of conversation topic, takes her by surprise. For a moment, there's a silence. A silence which grows heavier as I realize how tactless I was with my approach. What makes you think that? You're my girlfriend and I've known you for years. What would I have to be jealous of? She's trying to sound confident in her answer, but the wavering in her voice gives her away. I don't know, that we spent time together, the Christmas shopping and her walking home with me to yesterday? Sayori turns away, so I can't read the expression on her face. When she replies, she's talking to the crab. I'm sorry, Finn. It's just, he seems so happy with her and... We're just friends, Sayori. I would have thought you could see that. Don't you trust me? I'm not sure I want to hear the answer. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I'm trying to believe that I'm worth your time and then I hear about how she's, how she's her favorite club, her favorite member of the club and you really enjoyed seeing her come out of her shell. Well, so that's why she's, she was asking me. It all makes sense now. First her depression and now the jealousy. Well, I'd say it's definitely like a mix of both. And why I and when I asked Yuri why I wanted to walk home with you, you said you couldn't tell me why because it was personal. I mentally smacked myself. Looking back, of course, that answer might have sounded suspicious. Ah, I'm a flippin' idiot. 
I am really sorry. I didn't mean to sound like I doubted you or anything. Sayori and I settle into my house. Once we're comfortable, I continue to press her. No, Sayori, it's not your fault. I... I, re I didn't really see it from her perspective at all. Please believe me when I say you're the only one I want. Yuri's a great friend, and but that's it. The feelings I felt her for her have always been platonic. I wrap her into a hug and she sighs. As I stroke her, she clings to me, hiding her face in the folds of my blazer. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I'm just... Well, I'm totally new to relationships, so I really don't have a clue have a clue what I'm doing. It's okay, it's okay. I didn't think you were doing it to hurt me or anything. Okay, good. Because I never do anything to hurt you. Of course. You, inside and outside. I've been such an idiot. Yuri has just been feeling really lonely recently. I briefly fill Sayori in on what Yuri told me yesterday. I'm not entirely sure if I should be telling her this, but at this point in time I'm much more concerned with complete clarity between Sayori and I. Oh, that's why. It makes a lot of sense thinking about it, although I can't help but think. She looks down at the ground again, nervously biting her lip. I can't help but feel that Yuri likes you, Finn. Eh? Really? You can be really dense sometimes. There's a sad playfulness to her tone. Yes, really. She's trying to spend more time with you. She really appreciates your company. It's subtle, but I can tell by the way she looks at you. I think she gets attached really quickly. But she said she knew we were together and didn't want to intrude on that or anything. Uh... Sayori? Maybe I was right then. About what? About me just dragging you down. What can I even give you that Yuri can't? You said it to yourself. She's lonely. And if she was with you, then she'd be happy. She's smart. She's really pretty. She's really elegant. And what am I? I'm just an airhead. I can't even find the time to get ready in the morning. I'm just a dead weight to you. You're so much more than that, Sayori. Even if Yuri was the most desirable girl on the planet, I wouldn't give a dang because you're the only person I want. Exactly! You know something? When I was walking with Yuri yesterday, I couldn't help but wish that it was you I was with. It was the only time we didn't walk together, but one time is all I needed to realize how much I enjoy walking home with you. So what if you can't find the time to get ready in the morning? You're still beautiful, even when you f even when you don't try. Exactly, and and plus, Sayori, <laughs> I know I shouldn't be saying this and all, but just just don't be really insecure because just just don't be insecure at all because you're just really dragging yourself down and 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 stuff like that, you know. Uh, Finn, you're just saying that though. I'm not just saying that, but I really mean it. Don't be insecure because you're beautiful in your own way. I swear on my life that I'm being 100% genuine. These are the things I've always, I've, or I've always wanted to say to you, but I've never really known how. And that's not all. I wake up every day and I feel so god dang lucky knowing that you're my girlfriend. You've always been there for me when I needed it the most. I don't think I've ever told you how happy you make me. I pull her in for a kiss. She clings close to me and I can sense the urgency to her in her to touch. It's impossible to describe how it feels to hold her in this moment of vulnerability. I don't really care how elegant Yuri is, if I'm being honest. That's her, who she is. I much prefer her quirkiness and how silly we can be together. I mean, in this kind of context, and plus, Sayori can be really elegant in her own way as well because, come on now, she's adorbs! 
We have that link that no other girl in the world they say they have. We really do have that history together, don't we? A history that I'd never trade for anything. Finn? Mm-hmm. Please don't leave me. I know I'm being selfish for asking that. You're not. It's still so confusing. But when I'm with you, I feel warm inside. And I think that, well, just for a moment, that maybe everything will be okay. I can't really understand why you care so much about me. But I'll trust you. I'm glad, Sayori. I really am. But if I'm being honest, she looks up to me. We can't do this alone. I think we should look into you getting some therapy. She looks away. I'll always, I'll obviously always be here for you, but I'm just a normal teenage guy. There's only so much I can do. I don't know. Why not? It's just a really scary thought. I don't want to go through all that false hope again. False hope? Again? I've tried therapy and anti- and anti- anti-antidepressant before, Finn. Back when I first diagnosed with depression, everyone told me it would work. They told me that I would feel okay again. But that never happened. I was much younger back then, and everything was a million times scarier than more confusing. All of those tests, all of the questions, the drugs... I didn't know what was wrong with me. The whole thing was terrifying. What I'd give to be a prof uh, what I'd give to be a medical professional right now. Oh, wow, Sayori, I, uh, I had no idea. I would have expected you to have known. Would you believe me if I said things would be different this time around? And how would you know that? I wouldn't, at least for sure. But if we leave this unchecked, how would things ever change? I know it must be really hard for you, believe me, I can only imagine what you're going through. I totally get why you'd be reluctant to try it again. But I promise you that this time, I'll be here. You wouldn't have to go through all of it alone. I squeeze her hand. Hmm, well... We'll get through it together, remember? But what if it doesn't work again? We'll find another doctor or another therapist until it does then. It's not going to be that easy though. I know, I know, but I'm never going to give up on you. So, I don't care how long it takes. Well, I'm never gonna give you up either. <laughs> You're so selfless in how much you care for other people's happiness. But I want you to be happy. Do I really deserve that though? If awful if other people deserve happiness, why don't you, Sayori? Just ask yourself that. Uh... Please? For me? Okay. For you. It feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Finally, I feel like I'm not alone in trying to help Sayori anymore. I know that must have been a difficult thing to agree to. I'm really proud of you. You're much braver than you realize. Although, I haven't been too pushy or anything, have I? I wanted to encourage you, not force you. It's something that I would have tried to... <laughs> I would have... I would have had to try sooner or later, I guess. Well, there's always the chance that therapy might fail again. There's also the way I could potentially get better. See? That's the spirit! She doesn't look wholly convinced, but smiles anyway. I'll do it for you, Finn. I'm not going to hold my breath, but if it makes you happy, I'll give it a try. That's all I can ask for now. It means a lot to me that you'd be willing to try again. Well, let's hope this time it works a little out- I'll, Let's hope this time it works out a little better. Anyway, I'll go- t I'll talk to my doctor tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Oh, oh, we have to choose a ch okay, choose this. Offer her to join a therapy. This is something she has to face herself. Okay, um, 
I was gonna plan or say that I'm going to end the episode right here, but no, this is something really important that I have to do it for all of you fellow knights, since of course, um, I'm pretty sure some of the users at the r slash DLC mod said that the, uh, the other choices don't matter right until at the very end of the ending. I'm not entirely sure though, but at this point, I don't care. I just really want to, you know, see how the other uh, situation goes at like of how Sayori reacts and all. But um, if I offer to join her at therapy, of course she definitely needs that company. And this is something she has to face herself. She can't do this alone, but of course, um, well, not of course, uh, if she's going to face this herself alone, then no. <laughs> of course, my answer on this one would have to offer to join her at therapy. Oh, and Sayori? I can come with you to your therapy sessions if you want. Are you sure? Would they let you? I think so. I mean, if you let them, you're okay with it. I don't see why not. And plus, I'll always be there with you. And uh, of course, since you appreciate my company and all, and I appreciate yours, of course! Just keep me updated, okay? I wouldn't want to miss your first session. Okay then. And thank you. It was kind of daunting to start, so having you around should hopefully make it much easier. I'm just glad I can help. Of course, I'm always happy to help. Cannot wait for her first session at therapy. And plus, therapy is really good because you can vent and rant out your problems to a uh, therapist to see what the problem is and yeah. But unfortunately, I'm going to end the episode right here, fellow knights. I'm terribly sorry, but as always, there will always be the next episode. Cannot wait for this one because of course, it's finally therapy time and she definitely got the help she needs, so hip hip hooray! <laughs> So anyway, if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already, it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching, Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun fellow knights and adventurers.